Hi everyone and welcome. This brief video will show you how to use the income tab within the household budgeting workbook that I've posted online. If you're interested in downloading it, follow the links in the description below and check out the overview video as well. As a brief review, the income tab is one of five green tabs in the workbook, all of which you can see down here at the bottom. The green color just indicates that they require manual data entry of some kind. Up at the top here, we have cumulative income from all sources, and below that we have a value. This number is simply the sum of all the entries recorded in the amount column right here. Now beneath this, we have a simple table with seven columns. I've highlighted those here for you. We'll walk through this table column by column in a second, but the first thing I'd want you to note is that only three of these columns have green fill. These are the date, amount, and category columns. That means that those columns are required for the workbook to function properly elsewhere. The other columns are optional, but I think you'll find them useful. All right, now let's start with the date column over here on the left. This column is very simple. Just enter the date that income comes in. In my sample data here, you can see that I have about four entries per month. Depending on how often you get paid or how many streams of income you are recording, this could be more or less. There are no caps one way or the other. The source column is the next column, and that's simply for the source of the income. Think, where did you get it? I write my actual bank's name for things like bank interest. I would write that here. I write my employer's name as well instead of something like company A, and I might write my wife's employer's name instead of company B. This is all just sample data. You can be as specific as you want, but the idea here is where did the income come from? The amount column is next. This is the actual amount of income that comes in. I like to record values to the penny, but you are certainly welcome to round them if you would like. In this sample data here, I do round most of them to the nearest dollar. The next column is the category column. This column allows you to place your income into a number of categories that you can choose. This is also our first column with a drop-down menu. You can see that there are six preloaded categories, but you can change this. On my personal workbook, for example, it says George Work instead of Job Work 1, and it says Michelle Work, my wife, instead of Job Work 2. To change or modify this list, see the directions on the List tab down here at the bottom. The form column is next, and this column indicates how you received the income, and it also has a customizable drop-down menu. This column is optional, of course, but I found it helpful in the past to document this information. The next column is titled Cycle, and it indicates whether income was regular or irregular. You can define those terms however you want, but the basic idea is that some income is not a part of your regular income, so you may want to denote it as such. For example, bonuses from work, gifts, reimbursements, selling stuff around the house, and earning a few bucks from little jobs here and there are all things that would probably count as irregular sources of income. And then finally, the explanation column here allows you to make a note to yourself about the row entry. Most of these are going to be pretty simple, for example, bi-monthly payment, monthly payment, things like that. But I've always found it helpful to record a little note to myself, especially for the irregular sources of income. For example, I believe there is a hypothetical birthday gift recorded down here, and there is, for $150. It was from my family. Let's say it was cash. And I said it was an irregular source of in income. It's not something I could count on receiving very often. And I have a little note to jog my memory about what it was. The last thing I want to note on this sheet is that because this is a table, you can actually sort and filter the information in any of these columns. For example, if you wanted to sort your income in ascending order, you can. And of course, you could do the opposite. You can sort it in descending order. You could, if you wanted to, just look at all of your income from job work one by applying a simple filter. You could look at just forms of income that you received from certain methods, for example, just via check. The options are pretty much limitless. I like to keep my information sorted by the date column. Right now I'm just clearing some of these filters. I like to keep my date column sorted 
ascending so that the oldest um, the oldest rows of income are at the top and the newest ones are at the bottom and I just record new ones as they come in. That is about it for the income tab. Thanks so much for watching.